Hey guys, Jimmy Song here, Off Chain. Today is December 25th, 2017. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the mempool and how everything's going. Um, obviously it's, uh, it's a holiday and everyone's happy and everything else. Um, and we did see uh, some reduction in the mempool. So let me show you what's going on a little bit. Um, uh, let's take a look at screen two. All right, here we go. This is the mempool over the last 30 days. And we've been seeing, uh, some spikes here and there, uh, but it really started uh, to get pretty crazy about two weeks ago when we had this giant spike. And you can see these are the this is the unconfirmed transaction count. It looks even crazier when you look at the pending transaction fees in BTC because uh, the the little things at the top, the orange here, the teal here, the yellow here, uh, those are really really high transaction fee. Um, uh transactions so like uh you know some uh, the yellow here is like 700 to a thousand satoshis per byte um these are going to be very very expensive so they they contribute a lot more to the pending transaction fee here so you can see that uh you know miners were getting like insane fees um and uh, this is a mempool size this is uh more sort of uh, pure size and you know some of some of these like no, you know, nobody needs to um, mine these and you can see the drop-off here And this is because uh, right uh, of what it says right here. This server has a mempool limit of 500 megabytes uh, Corresponding to 170. Uh, yeah, so the these sort of like drop off after you reach 500 megabytes, so um, you know the yeah this one you know you you see a lot of them drop off and you can see some of the really cheap transactions starting to come back online um, and you know we're we're hitting right now about 140 to 200 uh, satoshi per byte transactions will soon be eating into the 100 to 140 and then 70 to 100 uh, hopefully this the this reduces and reduces and we get to sort of the situation we had over here. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about why this is happening. What, uh, you know, what, why do we have uh, so many transactions, and um, you know, uh, you know, why, why is this, uh, why is the mempool so full? Um, and uh, and you know, one one of the things I wanted to point out is this tweet by Lauren MT. Uh, for example, this entity has is a wallet controlled by Coinbase to date. It shows around 203 BTC split into 1.464 million UTXOs. With BTC at 15.8K, uh, it means 3.2 million with an average UTXO value of $2.20. So uh, basically what he's saying here is that uh, it, there's, a, there's a wallet known to be uh, you know, uh, controlled by Coinbase. And uh, and they have, uh, and you can you can take a look at it here. This is this is sort of an interesting uh, website, but they have tons and tons of addresses. They, right now, they have like seven hundred fifteen thousand addresses, and uh, and they have right now three hundred eight bitcoins in there, which is uh, you know a lot. But split over that many addresses, you you get you get a ton of uh, you know tiny tiny bits, uh, and you know some of them are reasonably you know like this one's like 0.1, but they're all of these like really really tiny um, uh, amounts of Bitcoin in there, and you can't you can't really spend them profitably uh, because you know there there's such small amounts that if you try to spend them, what happens is uh, you end up paying more in fees than to transfer. It. Uh, but you know th this is something that coinbase uh, is continuing to do is you know as soon as uh, what what I'm understanding from coinbase is that oftentimes they will take a you know when you deposit some money to coinbase they immediately split it doesn't matter how small it is so you can be spe sending like point zero 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 one bitcoin and they'll immediately split it even though it makes no sense um, and from a business standpoint, uh, it, it's uh, it's kind of a terrible use of uh, of the blockchain. You're you're using on chain splitting uh, when really you should just uh, you know be keeping it in that wallet and uh, and doing things with it. Then I don't know. Maybe some of it is going into cold storage or whatever. Uh, but this is one of the big reasons why we're we're seeing bloat on the blockchain is because 
uh, you know, companies like Coinbase and probably a lot of others. To, I, I'm not picking on Coinbase here, but a lot of these uh, services, wallets and services were built in like 2012, 2013, 2014. Uh, back when, you know, uh, the blockchain wasn't nearly as full. So, you know, they can just sort of uh, use the public resource very liberally. And more or less what they've done, uh, their infrastructure is built around, you know, like using all these on-chain things. And, you know, you can kind of understand more why then um, they, uh, you know, a lot of these companies ended up signing the New York agreement because, they didn't want to change their procedures. They instead wanted to, um, you know, keep the same procedures that they had and just sort of, uh, you know, cause everybody else to be inconvenienced. Um, and that that's that that seems to be what's going on. And this is something that I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, and you know, just uh, sort of speculate a little bit on what what's going on uh, going forward. Um, another reason why the blockchain is, uh, you know, so full, the mempool is so full, is because a lot of these companies, um, they don't do something called transaction batching. Um, so what transaction batching is, is, um, here, let me stop screen sharing so you guys, you guys can sort of see me. Uh, transaction batching is essentially taking a, uh, like, like I can, I can send, uh, some amount of money to person A and I can send some amount of money to person B. And if I do them as separate transactions, they're going to be like 300 bytes each. Um, and, but if I combine them, I can like send them to both for like 450 bytes. So like it's, it's objectively cheaper to, you know, sort of combine them. And this is something that local Bitcoins does and some of the other services. Um, but you know, Coinbase, I don't think does this. Um, I don't know if blockchain does it, but there, there are a lot of services again, they were built in 2012, 2013. Um, and they, they, they don't do a lot of this stuff that could totally, uh, make it a lot cheaper. And obviously the, the last one is SegWit. Uh, SegWit is a lot cheaper on a per byte basis. Um, or actually I guess it would, it should be per unit weight, which is what, uh, what, what we measure things now in, uh, in Bitcoin because it's 4 million weight, not 1 million bytes. Uh, but you know, that, that would also save a lot. But, uh, but again, the, the input addresses to a lot of these are still sort of the old format and they're sort of refusing to upgrade their infrastructure. And this, this is a large part of why, why this is happening. That said, there are other external reasons. Obviously, there's been a lot of interest, uh, 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 you know, regarding Bitcoin uh, this past month or so, and that's going to bring in a lot more people. That's going to bring in a lot of, um, uh, you know, transactions um, as people like take them out of exchanges and stuff. Uh, but you know, generally, a lot of newbies. Um, uh, yeah, it's yeah. It, general lot generally, a lot of newbies will just sort of keep it on an exchange, so they're not really using on-chain stuff. So that shouldn't be as big uh, a thing. Um, and you know, there there are other reasons why this might be going up. Anyway, uh, let me let's take some questions. Uh, Luciano Limanta asks: Is Ledger safe to do split tool twice? First failed. Um, well, if the if the split tool failed, that means it didn't do anything. So you could try it twice. Um, hopefully, it doesn't fail again. Um, yeah, uh, and you know that's that's more or less what you uh, you're you're gonna need to do to get your Bitcoin cash or whatever. Um, yeah, there there's been a ton of other hard forks. Um, I don't know if any of them are online or if any of these are being traded, but certainly that's something to look into. And uh, again, that, that might contribute to the mempool count as well. A lot of people trying to split their coins. And, you know, that's, that's, that's something you have to think about with all these hard forks. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Any other things? Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to do a quick show. Uh, Merry Christmas, obviously. Um, you know, ha happy to, you know, uh, be with you today very briefly. I got to go some, open some presents and things like that. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, I, I mean, we, we're coming towards the end of the year. So uh, some of you might want to think about doing some tax planning. Um, you know, contact your accountant and figure out what makes sense for you. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. And um, yeah, this song is
done.